Balatian did not have a doctor for more than 50 years. The, the, my business in Balatian keeps growing. So, and then our wife has uh, helped me to find more doctors working for me. Without our, our wife's support, that is, it is not possible to set up a uh, GP's practice in Balatian. This is what I think. Uh, and uh, the, the community was very happy there is a GP practice in here. Because of us, um, some other business have joined us in Wallatown. The, the people or the patients in the community have recognised our service. That's why we keep growing. But the, our wives give me the chance to, to, to see the real patient in, in the country. That, that is the most important thing. Our life before Noah had surgery uh, was very full on, very challenging, uh, very demanding. Poor little Noah was very unsettled and a very sort of anxious baby. We have been on the wait list four months, five months. It wasn't an overly long process. Started seeing Dr Chow at Madas when Noah was about four months old. Our ways uh, involvement with the Ear and Eye Hospital was brilliant. I could not fault the system at all. Life now after surgery is amazing. There's lots of things that we can enjoy now that we couldn't have before surgery. We're a lot more active, we can do lots more. Proofing at daycare is like massive. Noah is sleeping 12 to 14 hours a night. He's a very settled, happy baby. Eating, drinking lots, uh, very active, smiling, talking lots. Just, yeah, completely different baby.
Our web gives me the opportunity to develop into the best physio that I can possibly be and I really appreciate that. While I was studying, I did a, a rural placement in Tarelgans and really enjoyed my time out here and decided that when I finished up uni, I wanted to work in the country. But just when it comes to finding a practice, our way was really helpful. Working in a rural setting gives you exposure to a lot of clients that might not necessarily have had all the healthcare that's available in the city. So it gives you more room to educate. It also exposes you to a lot of different conditions. So I've got to be prepared for anything and that really excites me. From a physio perspective, our biggest involvement in the country is probably with country sports. So we see a lot of the country footballers, country netballers, any sport, you, you name it. Everyone loves their sport so much out here that you really get involved with the various teams of the players that you're treating. So it really feels like you're working in an elite sport environment. It really benefits the athletes in, in the country because they're not having to travel two hours to Melbourne to find out what might be wrong with their knee or might be wrong with their ankle. It really helps to just have that input just down the road from them. We're lucky as physiotherapists to have a lot of extra professional development opportunities. From a financial perspective, they're, they're quite expensive and I probably wouldn't be able to afford to do them had I not had the funding from AWEB. So my message for someone who wants to work in a rural setting, especially a student who's a new graduate, is one, make sure the place that you work at gives you really good support. Secondarily, be prepared to put yourself out there in the community. And three, make sure that you do get involved in a lot of professional development outside of where you work. But if you make an effort to make sure that you don't drop off in that department, I think it's a wonderful experience and I would highly recommend it to anyone. And our wave just makes that whole process a whole lot easier.